Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 16, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. I will start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we're getting very overstretched here in the, uh, in the top of the bullish band. We pulled back yesterday, pulling back uh, the same for the day, but we're approaching the 200 moving average. And the question is whether or not we are going to see a massive rejection as we have been seen, as we saw back here uh, when we get to the 200 moving average. 50 moving average is moving this way, 200 moving average is move, moving that way. We'll probably have a crossing of the 50 and the, and the 200, and usually that is a very bearish sign. So we'll see. Otherwise, um, technical indicators are very bullish. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is the RSI. Well, there's a lot of room to the upside. Break above the 250, well, then we could see this start trending back towards the 60 and beyond. Break below that would get rejected here, then we could also drop back to 30,000. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum got um, rejected at the 20 exponential. So we tried to rally above it and it got rejected there. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is flat in negative territory. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. If we get rejected here, then we could drop back to the bottom of the bullish band, which is at 22 and 58. And if we, that breaks, then we could drop back towards the 200 moving average at 1800, give or take. Break above the 20, then we have the 50 that will target roughly 3000 or 2900, 3000 area. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano also got rejected at the 50 and the 20 exponential. It uh, looks very similar to Ethereum. A rollover from here, we could uh, see this uh, pull back towards uh, 1.35. If that breaks, then we are heading back towards 1 or the 200 moving average down here at 0.93. Break above here, then we could go and test the previous highs or at the top of the uh, Bollinger Band, which is at 1.79. Technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage, or a little bit bullish. So let's look at Litecoin. So nothing is really happening here, but we have seen periods in the past where it just went sideways, um, built momentum, for example, here before rallying built momentum, rallied, built momentum and rallied and so on. So whether or not this is one of those um, building momentums before rallying, uh, that is to be seen. Or if we just get rejected here at 20 and, the, and, the, and the 200, or if Bitcoin starts dropping in that again, then we could basically see a massive sell-off in, in Litecoin. If we drop below these candlesticks here, then we can see this dropping back to 116 or 100. If we rally above the 200, then we have the 50 moving average at 232, and then beyond that. Technical indicators, they are turning around. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish as well, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, very similar. We are still trading above the 200 moving average underneath the 20 exponential or basically middle of those moving averages. If we break below the 200, then we can see this dropping back towards 25 and 20. If we rally above the 20, we could go and head towards 50 at 75, 74, sorry. But it looks like we're going to have a crossing of the 200 and the 20 exponential. So whether or not we break down or up from that point, that is to be seen. Technical indicators are favoring the upside at this point. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is still bearish territory, but it's turning around, and the R is RSI is flat. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is very similar to, uh, to Litecoin. It uh, is struggling to break above the 20 and the, and the 200 moving average um, in order to get towards the 50. So if you get rejected here, this could drop back towards these previous lows at 120 and 100. Technical indicators, they are fairly bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So 
very similar to basically to uh, Litecoin. It's kind of that same graph, uh, but a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average that could spell massive warnings for for the long term trend for most of these cryptocurrencies. So let's look at Dogecoin. So yes, and struggling to get anywhere uh, at this point. The hype um, that basically drove this cryptocurrency to uh, these very highs here, that is uh, fading. And without that hype, um, well, it um, doesn't seem like that you know, this has the momentum in order to get back to these previous highs here. So I don't expect um, uh, a tweet from Elon Musk about... about uh, about um, Dogecoin as uh, he has kind of dropped that at this point. So if we manage to break below, um, give or take 0 0.21, then we could drop towards the 200 move average at 0 0.1416. If we break above the 50, then we could see 0 0.50. And then if we break these candlesticks here, then we could go back to the all highs. But that's is looking like a tall ask at this point. If uh, Bitcoin continue starts to rally significantly, then we could see movements here. Otherwise, this looks like it is drifting back towards the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are looking uh, fairly dreadful at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.